all right so welcome again to military guna tv and we're going to speak about the regular girls not the older regular girls younger regular girls as you know that they were in a world cup qualifiers campaign and thing di things didn't went too sweet at all so it's another failure of a campaign on the jamaican side on the reggae side and we have been seeing this over time now the reggae boys um the big big boys um fall out of the world cup qualifiers a few weeks ago yes we still have a few more games to play but we are out of it we are totally out of it and um, now the young girls are out of it i'm going to get into some details but before i do that please guys let's do the youtube aspect the like the share and also the subscribe which is important which is very very important so let me bring up the article so that you guys can see it and let's read and dissect this article together um so that's that that's as you can see it said young reggae girls booted from qualifiers after panama's thrashing so let's get into the details let's get into the details people let me start reading so jamaica under 20 national team suffered a 3-0 defeat to panama in their second world round of under six uh, of 16 concacaf um women's under 20 championship at the estadio panamericano San Cristobal in the Dominican Republic yesterday. Um, so, Shahari Cameron said, um, Camarina said, open the score. Shaka, why is it? Shah, Shayari Camarina opened the score for Panama in the 11th minute of the knockout encounter before Wendy Natis doubled the tally in the 39th, 39th minute from this penalty spot. In the second half, um, Yasli Astenko Asensio made it 3-0 to the panamanian in the 62nd minute panama dominated possession holding onto the ball for 59 percent of the time put it and put together 327 passes but still jamaica did not have the opportunities to get um into the game the jamaicans had 13 shots at goal one more than the panamanians but only managed to get four and target when the, when compared to their opponents who had seven wow Panama were also very also more aggressive even though the team split two yellow cards apiece the winners were first to the ball more regularly and committed more than half the fouls the game wow in the in the days other game Mexico I I don't think that really have any sufficiency yeah so it's a it's it's, it's definitely a, a, a sad day in in football for for Jamaica again another failure another failure of campaign again now we have seen this over and over again but this time around this time around for the young girls there's not many competition going on especially specifically for the girls who play inside of jamaica so you know fitness would be a problem cohesiveness would be a problem it could be it could be the same could be said for said for the other teams but i do think that um the, the, I I don't I, I can't give a reason for them to, to to really really go through. Yes, we were good. Yes, we 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 won. We drew one. We won one. We lose one. That's four points. Definitely not so um sufficient enough. That's this that's not sufficient enough. Uh, I've seen a lot of coverage in regards to the girls, but it was just not enough. It was just not enough. Um we can all blame this on the jff all we want but i do think that this would this one specifically would go a little bit deeper than the jff in regards to preparation no football playing specifically for the females um so uh, this one is a little bit deeper but i do think that at least now we have proper pr proper knowledge of how to approach something of this sort in, in regards to the situation because everything was affected by the, the pandemic everything everything football is affected by the pandemic female football take, took a longer time to get back on the forefront than the male football so i do think that these things plays played play a, a huge factor um the other day the, in the training session they had a huge huge robust event where someone some diplomat came uh, interrupted the training session so all of these factors not building, building excuse but uh, it's tough it's tough to say that they they, they they must go through this time around it's it's tough to say but all all is well i do think that um 
time will come where we can bounce back i do think that time will come we can bounce back um hopefully we can put things in place right now and we should use this as a landmark for the under 20 male the under 20 reggae boys team and say that this is what we should this is these are these are the things that we should not do these are the things that we should not do and use it as a template said okay we didn't do this correct let's fix it with the, with, with, with the reggae boys for the under 20 championship because the world cup is also in, in in that old bracket for the under 20 team as well the world cup the olympics is all merged in one um but we will see the Kanka Cup championship is coming up and i do think that all the things that went wrong for the under 20 girls i do think that um they would have to put those things um in mindset that we need to fix those things or we need to correct those things if it's recruiting scouting um systematical system of play funding all of those things if it's uh, if it's administrative it's, it, once it's any one of those issues we should definitely factor in those things the, the, the slate is set for the boys now to get it right and for mostly moreover the slate is set for jff to get it right so hopefully they will get it right this time around but i do think that it is sad that they are out but it's the best thing for the uh, for the administration to do right now is to use what they went wrong with with the female team with the under 20 team with the under 20 regular girls team and correct it so that the boys can have a better chance of um, of succeeding i will be doing a video on three players that i do think that we should try get those three players at all costs and the reason why i want to bring up these three players is because there's one particular aspect of something that i see one of the boys did and i will highlight it in the next video on the next video that i'm doing i will highlight it so let's see if we can fix these things and approach the under 20, 20 championship conquer cup championship for the boys and let's get it right because it's a tough group i am um, well tried um to the regular girls under 20 regular girls well well tried i didn't do much coverage of the under 20 regular girls because even with the same with the female team the regular girls the big team i didn't do much coverage with it as well because i'm still learning the female team i know a lot more about the male team than the female team so i'm still learning about the female team and i see a lot of people do coverage on it so next time around um i have got it i've gone it i've garnered a lot of the knowledge about the female team now so i will definitely can cover it when i when it's when, when it's back again but the boys time now the boys are coming and let's see how we can approach this one but people make sure that you hit the like button people make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well it's been a, it's been a while since you guys um and i said i appreciate you guys helping me reach the, the, the 11 000 subscribers but guess what people until next time military guna tv people we are out Tutu!